Hey guys and welcome to, uh, I don't even know what tutorial this is, but um, this is a tutorial where I'll be teaching you uh, how to set up and make objectives. So I'll go back into the test, test uh, mission. Wait for it to uh, load up again. First time is always slow as always. Um, this tutorial is going to help you with uh, another tutorial that I'll be making uh, and depending on when you're watching this might already be made so uh, look for the briefing tutorial so we'll just actually if you watch the tutorial before this which is triggers part one and two uh, I'm gonna keep what we have so far because we're gonna need it for object for the objective anyways so first things first to create an objective we're gonna need triggers we already have our triggers set up so really we can already start making the objective so for okay so right now what we had in triggers to, in the triggers tutorial was for this man for this AT specialist to um, dis yeah for this AT specialist to destroy the Tunguska which is right here and then once the tung Tunguska is destroyed uh, the Black Hawk will unlock and that's what we have in our trigger Um, sorry, that's another trigger. That's what we have here. So, as soon as the Tungus goes down, the helicopter unlocks, and we get the little message that the Tungus goes down. So now what we can do, just to make it more, um, more, a lot more easy for you to understand and visualize, we're just going to make a new trigger. You don't really have to, you can just add the, the code that I'm about to add right after false. So we'll just create another trigger. We'll click F3, double click, and we'll access A and B0. Everything else set to none. Condition. Condition will put the that the Tungus goes down. So refer to uh, the trigger tutorial. Now, here comes the code for the objectives. The first part that you want to put in on activation, remember this is all going to be in the description on the YouTube video, so just watch there if you want to copy and paste. But first thing is, this in, in this case, this will be objective one. So this tells the the server that objective one has been completed. Uh, I'm going to put it all capital. The next piece of code will tell the briefing, which I'll make another tutorial to do. Uh, I'll make another tutorial on how to show you how to do it. But this next piece of code will tell the briefing that this task has been completed. Right after this code, TSK or task, um, right after this piece of these three letters is the name of your task. So in this case, it's uh, OBJ underscore one, like that. And uh, then what you do is you put um, set task state and succeeded. All right, so this will tell the briefing that the objective has been succeeded or done. Um, now this next piece of code I'm showing you is optional. You don't have to do it, but if let's say you want your uh, your objectives to be completed in a specific order, you put th you put in this piece of code. So this, oh, with the P, will tell the, uh, the 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 server or the the client, sorry, that once objective one has been completed, set the current task to objective two. 
Now this next part, you don't really have to use either, but it's easier to use, I mean it's better to do if after a certain amount of objectives are completed and you just want the mission to end. So I actually, uh, I do this quite a bit. First you just put that. So objective one. So you're defining objective one as being true. So that means that once the Tunguska is down, objective one exists in the mission. So it becomes an actual like uh, variable. But for that to happen, you also have to define objective one as a variable. So you put that. You, you, we, so we just define objective one as a variable. And uh, that's all the code actually for this. Um, yeah, that's it really. Uh, so yeah, this is a short tutorial, but make sure that right after this, you watch the how to make a briefing tutorial. It's going to help you a lot. And also, actually what, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out this piece of code where it sets the next task because we don't have another task. So what I'm going to do now is make another trigger. And remember how we defined objective 1 as a public variable, right? So we'll make axis A and B 0 again. Set the... Okay, this trigger... So once objective 1 is completed, the game will end. Alright? So set the type to end number 1. Condition. That's all you have to put for the condition. And then on activation, you just put the short code. Boom, and that's it. So once the Tunguska is destroyed, the mission will end. Since we only have one objective, uh, you might as well just go do this. and force end, but there's no point, right? Because once you have more objectives, let's say we have three objectives, and you use the code that I gave you in the other trigger, you would, just, you would put this. So that would tell the trigger that once objective one and two and three are completed, uh, the server will force end. So the mission will be ended. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to watch the next tutorial and look in the description for the codes that I just put in. Alright guys, thank you. And I'm just going to save this because we're going to be using it again in the, uh, in the next tutorial. Alright, see you later and stay tuned.